Aloha, how's it going? This is Brett Christensen here with Maui Property. This is your January 2021 Maui Real Estate Market Report. We are going to be comparing all the stats from last month to uh, one year before. Uh, as you've probably heard, Jaws has been breaking. That's the big surf break here on Maui. It broke last weekend and there's been pictures and video all over the internet. We got some footage rolling right now behind me. And, um, but we're here, we're here today to talk about real estate. So, uh, but you know, Maui's been kind of buzzing lately with um, tourists back in town. Uh, real estate market's been jumping. And uh, don't worry, we won't be covering any Bernie Sanders memes. Although if you any special requests come in, we could, we could always do the best of. December is normally one of the slowest months of the year. But this year, it wasn't. Uh, strong buyer demand across almost all segments of the market, uh, buoyed by near record low interest rates, continue to drive a healthy sales pace in the face of really a softening economy, bad job market. Uh, but these interest rates are just keep things rolling. So new listings decreased by 18% for single family homes and uh, increased by measly 0.7% for condominium homes. Pending sales increased 60% for single family homes and 23% for condos. Now the inventory decreased 42% for single family homes, but increased 30% for condos. 42% down on the residential, it's, it's rough, you guys. If you're a buyer, there's not a whole lot to look at. It's, it's kind of crazy. The, let's look at pricing. Median sales price increased 16% to 865,000 for single family homes and 22% for condos to 629,000. So prices keep coming up. Uh, days on market increased just a little bit, 3% for single family homes and 6% for condos. So it's basically, you know, about the same. The months of supply of inventory decreased for homes by almost 40% and for condos, it increased 67%. So that's where we're really seeing a difference in the amount of inventory. Uh, good, if you're a buyer right now for condos, if you're looking at for a home to buy, there's just, there's not a lot to look at. You, you, you shop around and you're probably gonna get a little frustrated. So with these low interest rates and strong buyer demand in most market segments, the housing market of this of early 2021 looks to continue the trend we saw in the second half of 2020. First half was a little weird. So low inventory, multiple offers on in-demand properties are likely to remain common while the market waits and hopes for a boost in new construction and maybe a surge in home sellers, um, you know, to help provide some balance to this market. We, we hear a lot of buyers saying they're frustrated with the limited amount of inventory. Now you're probably wondering why aren't there more sellers capitalizing on this market? And I think the simple answer is there's a lot of people that are happily living on Maui right now. Most people, you know, don't really want to leave their homes, I guess. They don't want to leave Maui. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard. Like, where do you go from here if you live on Maui? I think what, what it's probably going to take to balance this out is maybe people not really having a choice. There's a, quite a few people that have taken advantage of the forbearance program available right now. You can basically not pay your mortgage for 12 months with no real penalties other than they just tack on another year to your mortgage. And so, you know, that's a 12 month program. What happens when that runs out? Uh, I don't think we've ha been given a clear answer on what, what happens. Uh, I think there might even be somewhat of a moratorium on, on foreclosures. I, I actually, I should research that. I, I don't really know. Okay, so that's the end of all your stats. Now, uh, if you're still here listening, we're gonna go over a few more things. We're gonna look at uh, interest rates. So here we go. All right, I'm just on the Freddie Mac website here. It shows here the US weekly averages as of 120, basically today uh, or this week. Average for 30-year fixed mortgage is 
seven percent uh, you're paying an interest 15 year 2.2 percent so uh, I've got down here a graph that shows historic interest rates from 1973 all the way till today and if you look here you know just visually you can see the average is about six to seven percent that people are paying for mortgage rates here in the 80s it peaked at around 17 percent and then um, you know as you move across around when 9-11 happened in you know 20, 2001 um, right about here they dropped interest rates below that kind of six seven percent bar they they like to stay at and it really hasn't gone up since uh, then we crashed here again in 2006 2007 and they dropped interest rates again and uh, you know here we are over here let's like four percent five three four percent and now we're here below three percent so imagine if right now interest rates were at seven percent six percent seven percent i don't think we'd be seeing such a strong seller's market but here we are you know even if if you're thinking oh well maybe i'll wait till interest rates go up and and people, there's more inventory uh, maybe prices will come down if you do the math it, it doesn't always work out so well because you might be paying less for the house but you're going to be paying more interest and you're actually going to pay more for the house over the life of the loan also your monthly payment is going to be higher so uh, that's the catch-22 on this uh, so that's about it if you guys have any questions please send them send us your questions i am always looking for some kind of direction on these reports our next story here comes from the maui news saying that mainland buyers scooped up 30 percent of the home purchases on maui which at first glance sounds like whoa that's a lot but actually if you really read into the story and i even did my own research you know the average on maui is about 48 percent of the real estate being sold to people from the mainland so it actually the number has gone down and to be quite honest i'd forgotten this stat i think i'd heard this a while ago but i i don't really pay a whole lot of attention to it maybe i should because i sell real estate so uh i think this is actually sort of an incorrect headline to be honest with you because i'm actually from my own experience right now seeing a lot of mainland buyers i think really what happened is the first half of the year we had not we just didn't have many people coming here and we had some people buying remotely but now that people are actually here what we're going to see is the first half of the year was probably even less than 30 percent and now and if you look at the second half of the year i think it will probably show like record amount of mainland buyers so I, I think honestly this story was maybe published a little too early or it wasn't the, they didn't do a whole lot of research. So uh, Ki Haolani, I don't know you, but you might wanna do a follow-up story on this. I think that um, there's more to this. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on this. Maybe I'll write my own story for you guys. But the bottom line is there are a lot of buyers coming through Maui right now from the mainland people shopping from the mainland not even they're putting offers in on houses without ever seeing them and even maybe they won't even get here before the deal closes so a lot more agents are utilizing video it's actually something I've been doing for years and happy to help any of my clients or here at Maui property we uh, really try to encourage all of our agents to utilize video in every way possible so that's it for this story and okay, I have one more thing to show you guys. I think it's kind of interesting. It's a map that shows you how much money on average you need to earn to be able to afford the average priced home in an area. So uh, one second, let's put it up there. Okay guys, this is no surprise that Hawaii is the most expensive place to live in the United States if you wanna buy a house. But what's kind of interesting is by like how, how big the difference is. If you look at California, it's at $120,000 a year you need to be making to afford, be able to afford your average priced home. 
Hawaii is sitting here at $153,000. That's a lot of money. And unfortunately, most people don't even make close to that. So I'm sharing this graphic with you guys really just because I thought it was interesting. I don't know if this really helps anybody, but you know, it gives you an idea of you know how expensive it is here to buy a house you can this is for the average cost home we have you know a lot of homes that sell for millions of dollars so that gets calculated into this average home price doesn't mean uh, you have to make hundred fifty three thousand dollars in order to buy real estate here uh, you know the low the low end range well, we see stuff under 200k for a condo and a complex and you know, you can buy like a really nice condo at a reasonable price and uh, live the Hawaii lifestyle. If you want to buy a house with a rental, attached rental unit, you know, you're going to start, you're going to start spending over 800K and get to the point where, uh, you know, you need 153K coming in. But that might mean some of that money, if you buy a property with a rental, can some of that money can come from the, the property itself. So there's many ways to skin the cat when you're buying real estate on Maui. Uh, everybody's needs um, and options are different. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to uh, your preferred agent um, here at Maui Property, and we would be happy to help you. So hope you're having a great day. If you stayed till the end of this video, thank you so much. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Take care and aloha. What's up, Maui Real Estate Trackers?